Hello? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody? Welcome to Wednesday. Yeah. Life is so good on a Wednesday. Everybody loves a Wednesday. Yay. Very exciting news, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody. Oh, hi, just call me Mishi. Hi, Texodo. Chris Fueled, Eva, Storm, Moya Surfer Dude, Jasper, Jojo, Flags Court. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Joe, thank you for all your amazing advice. Hello, Sven. Sven Stefansson. Sven Stefansson. Sven. Sven Stefansson. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Laurie, great to see you. As nice to see you. Hi, Storm. Hi, Al. Hey, beautiful family. So good to <sighs> be hanging out with you. Life's weird. <laughs> to life sometimes. Not here. It's not weird. I mean, it's weird, but in a good way, weird. Not like weird, weird. <laughs> out there, like in normal life. This is happy life. Manu, nice to see you. Love you too, beautiful. Mamu, Mamu, Mamu Nesta. Oh, nice to see you. Oh, Storm, <laughs> you've already been moderated. We are weird. We are awesome. Yeah, we're good weird. The life out there can go <laughs> for today. The life in here can be like, yeah. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Um, some very cool news. Uh, oh, first of all, I've got my air con on again because it's nice. It's a bit toasty here today. So are the levels all... I shall allow Are the levels all okay? And are you being interrupted by the zhuzh of my air conditioner? Mm. 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 <laughs> Captain. Hi, Captain. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, hi, Jeremy. Nice to see you. I didn't see you in there. Hello. Hello. So uh, a couple of really cool things. Uh, in two weeks time, I have some conventions of my first conventions of the year. Oh, no, that's true. I went to Gallifrey. Uh, and then I think that's the only convention that I've done this whole year. That's so intense. Wah! So I'm so excited. Um, so on the, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, on my little website here, I will, I will see. I will put it up like this and I will do this. Um, this is ggrt.com. If you're a new viewer, check it out if you like. So on the 19th i have quadcon super excited about that in des moines and then uh on july 31st i have an amazing in iowa and they've all confirmed we've booked the flight so it's happening so if you're around that area come and see me i would love to see you uh it's going to be lots and lots of fun we'll all look after each other and of course, take all the necessary regulations. No, we will. Uh, but uh, we need to move forward and see each other. Yay! And hang out and get this economy back. Yay! Um, so we'll figure out when we get closer to the date what to do with the Twitch times and stuff like that because they might be a bit ruffled uh, with the things unless I can go live, which I think I can go live at the comic con table which would be cool because i could show you guys what's happening out there in the in the outside world i'm intrigued i can't wait uh whatever bradley <laughs> i'm just joking i'm feeling a bit cheeky today watch out so uh lots of other very cool news oh and then it looks like i think el paso might be moving but fargo for october is still looking good it's looking great um, also, there may be some ones popping. Oh, oh, there you go. Look at who's that? What? Oh, wow. Check out that hottie. 
Jan is just sitting on her shoulder. I haven't actually seen this. This is awesome. Oh, so that's for the Fargo one. Oh. Um, and then, oh, we may as well take a little gander. So this is the QuadCon one, special guests. That's me. That's me. Uh, so you can check out their website here. This is the one here, Prairie Meadows Convention Center. Five bucks entry. What a deal. Come and say hello. It's going to be lots of fun on the 19th. And then, oh, and then we'll go back here. Oh, like a deal. So we'll go back here. And then Animazing is more of an anime con. We're going to do a screening of Star Trek Continues with Chuck Uber. It's going to be lots and lots of fun. And uh, <laughs> and then we're, Jeremy, you're very funny. And then I'm also going to be doing a screening of Hashtag. And uh, it's going to be heaps and heaps and heaps of fun. Um, and uh, you should definitely come and say hello if you're in the area. So next on the agenda is our beautiful Zoom Hangouts that we've been doing quite a bit. I'm going to put the link in, oh, so I just mucked that up, in the chat room. It is Friday at 6.15 p.m. I'm cut and pasting it here for you after Twitch. We're all going to hang out at Zoom. Uh, so that's lots of fun. Early bird tickets are only 20 bucks, which I hear is quite a deal considering some of the other Q&A panel meet and greets that have been going on out there. You're welcome, Texodo. <laughs> uh, it was really cool because in the Zoom meeting, I love hanging out with you guys. Last time they did a surprise attack with donuts, everyone that I managed to completely not even realize they'd been planning it in the chat room and I'd been too multitasking to see it all happening before my very eyes, the donut attack, because uh, I'm obsessed with donuts. And um, and then last time, it, they're heaps of fun because sometimes we have all different numbers and sizes. Sometimes it's very intimate and then sometimes it's just an all-out party and they're always just as fun as the other. Uh, and the last one, the guys, uh, Storm and Texodo, helped me um, prepare some questions for Guy Gross tomorrow. So Guy Gross is the Farscape composer one of the two he uh i've been doing lots of research today and thank you joe as well who advised me to watch the commentary for eat me because guy gross uh does the commentary for that and that was awesome i got lots of cool questions so i'm all prepared i'm very exciting i'm very excited and then on saturday my beautiful father and his beautiful wife justine summers is going to visit us and they're both going to visit us. Uh, it's going to be an amazing show. Dad is the biggest entrepreneur in Australia. He bought Kiss, John Denver, Barishnikov, Nureyev, Marcel Marceau, Cirque du Soleil, um, Farlap. He was a film producer. Uh, he, re he also rep represented uh, many sport sporting icons as well. His family was the first family that actually went to Russia and bought out a Russian circus performers and other artists um, right when communism was crazy so there's lots of really amazing stories that he's going to tell us about and beautiful Justine was the head ballerina of the Australian ballet so uh, they've got many many tales to to tell so that's going to be on Saturday um, all right cool but today we are going to check out we're almost at, can you believe it? We're almost at the uh, the grand finale of episode, of season, what are we? Two. Jeez Louise, season two. So we're episode 21 today, ladies and gentlemen. Liars, Guns and Money, uh, part three. I keep rewinding it back to zero and it just likes to start playing. So you bet guys better be ready, all right? So as everyone now... If you're new again to the channel, press the follow button because then you get uh, notified when we go live and it's lots of fun. There's lots of cool things for subscribers as well. We have emotes down here uh, and we also hang out in Discord usually Saturday nights after the Twitch stream. Uh, here are some cool emotes. I know I've got to make the other ones. I've been busy being a mum and researching everyone. But, oh, and then I just added that. Whoopsies. I don't know what I added at the bottom there. <laughs> There's some cool emotes. Thank you, Captain. All right. 
Uh, there's been serious talk that Farscape is coming back and they want to film it uh, this year in Australia with original cast members. So everybody, if you have Amazon Prime, please love it, share it with people wide and near. We're watching episode 21. If you can watch it on Amazon Prime, it would be greatly appreciated. And then if not, whip out your DVDs uh, and we're going to kick it off. Can I get some frail years, please? Recap. Uh, we'll, we'll just play it from here, which is the recap, right, guys? I believe so. Right? Yes. Whatever we usually do. <laughs> you know, like press play. Um, frail, yeah. Hi, Foxy. Nice to see you. Hi, Eva. I see some new names here. Thank you so much and welcome to our beautiful, beautiful family. You guys are a huge, amazing, awesome momentous part of my world and i'm so grateful that we we're sharing this earth together mamu fro yeah fro yeah fro yeah okay ready one mipa pipi two mipa pipi oh wait i went the other way start again ten mipa pipi nine mipa pipi eight mipa pipi seven mipa pipi six mipa pipi five mipa pipi four mipa pipi three mipa pipi two mipa pipi one Oh, where's the sound? Ah! Beautiful Stark. In one container is enough wealth to buy the entire shipment of slaves. Right! See all exits! Sam, the doors are still there and what's happening? Scorpius must be on to us. They won't hit us. What the hell did you put in my head? So good. Every time you see it, there's been growing in your brain. Scorpius, I put me in his chair. I did something and it's getting worse. We have done so it! We've done it! In this episode, as soon as we establish an oh, it's heating up for the beautiful crew of Moya. There's a lot going on. Scorpius is going crazy in Crichton's head. <coughs> Natira is starting to get a little suspicious. They have all kinds of fun going on on Moya because they've invited many different fighters. They've invited the bounty hunter. They've invited uh, lots of our friends from the past and some new ones as well to join forces with them to go and help them get uh, get Jothy back. Then Jothy, at the end of last episode, appeared on the ship and they were like, wait, Scorpius just let you go? But of course, Scorpius didn't just let himself go. I've just got to let himself go. Scorpius didn't let him go. Crichton traded himself in. Uh, and another very heartbreaking thing that happened is that we had to burn Moya to get rid of the booty that had come alive that we'd stolen. See? Bad karma. Always, we must always do good, otherwise bad things happen. <laughs> always love, 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 love. Oh, hi, Still Waters. Thank you so much. Thank you, beautiful, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It means the universe to me. You guys are my life and I'm so happy that I can hang out with you guys. Of course, Skywalker is. She's, she's pretty cool too. Uh, just in case you don't know and you are new to the channel, um, I'm a complete geek and uh, my little girl is called... Uh, my little girl is called... First name Sky, middle name Walker. Uh, Eva, uh, do, 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 do. still can't sub. What do you mean? Uh, welcome to the second month. Thank you, babe. I really appreciate all the love and support. This is my main job at the moment, so it all it's huge for me. I really, really appreciate it. So we got all the gang, and we've gathered around, and Crichton is sending the message saying, well, at least he could do some good. Beautiful Erin is heartbroken. And uh, we're thinking, well, now what, we, what are we going to do? We don't have the money to pay the, uh, the people that we've recruited onto the ship to help us save Joffy anymore because the money's come alive and started to destroy Moya. So, of course, the stakes are very high. We're getting up to the season finale of season two. Uh, and one of the many amazing things about Farscape is that it is completely wild. It's completely weird. It, it, the stakes are always so, 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 so crazy high. Uh, 
so let me see here. There's a lot of names. So Chirac. What an intense outfit, you know? Like, whoa. So we've had some challenges with Tarak because he usually uh, blows things up and he's having a few, uh, few issues with blowing people up at the moment, which is a big part of our plan. <laughs> uh, now everything's getting a little tense and, of course, Gianna's getting strung into the mix with that, the beautiful actor Lionel. He was an absolute delight to work with and I love the moment that they have later on. It was really cool. Uh, I think you guys know what I mean when... Uh, Chiana and Lionel have a very close encounter and one of them takes the fall. <laughs> Here we have the amazing, beautiful credits for Farscape. What an amazing show. Whee! Oh, I have some pretty exciting news. I think I may have lined up our guests for next week. And, 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 do you want a clue? Do you want a clue for the guest? Hmm, do you want a clue? Eva says, my short movie went really good in Cinema 3. Good on you. Oh, there you go. She subscribed. Yeah. Oh, Anonymous, was that you? Thank you, beautiful Anonymous. Chira, you're an absolute sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you for being an amazing person. There you go, Eva. Wow. You guys are the best. You, there's so much love in this room. I no matter what intensity is happening in my world and the universe around me whenever i come here it is a dream come true so you rock uh thank you for for sharing the love so we have all the gang here still gathered around trying to make a plan obviously aaron's now freaking out because Crichton has gone down to get the chip out of his head and I believe at this point he thinks that the chip can come out without any challenges, but we'll see about that. <laughs> Sounds too good to be true. Things are heating up here. We've got uh, Chiana, of, uh, per usual, stirring the pot, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a little bit of a back thrust there. <laughs> um, beautiful uh, Jeremy Sims plays Rolf. Uh, he's just phenomenal. Those I, contact lenses I know are so ridiculously challenging let alone that huge prosthetic that he had to wear like even if you look at this scene the amount of just check out the costume the makeup the uh, prosthetics the animatronics it's just astounding just astounding oh now did you want a clue for oh here you go hello lived man hello my cheeky lived man nice to see you nice to see you Hope everything is well in your world. I've got to give a big shout out to Live Man and also to a Captain because they're my uh, they're, they're coming in from the UK and from Germany and it's like 2 a.m. in the morning for those guys right now. So big, big round of applause for our, for our people that it's mid-morning. Love you guys. Thank you for, all, you're always here and you're always supporting and it's very special. Ha 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 ha. So we're down on the planet and Natira is inspecting Crichton's prostate. <laughs> wow. We better check it out because it's pretty special. <clears throat> Come on, Jean. It's kind of hard not to flinch here, Scorpy. Look at that makeup. My prostate. What are you doing to him? Why don't you just take him and leave? I must soften his neural receptors to see if my plan on his brain is rich information. Right, and he's bendy. Who knew? Then I will call my command carrier back to the battle. So wait. clever. See, Look at that prop. I mean, they just, they never cease to amaze. Foreign people and conquer them. So the clue, ladies and gentlemen, for our guest, <clears throat> I'm still waiting 100% confirmation, but I believe, I believe we've got, now, do you want to know whether... Do you want to know? Hmm. All right. So their name has a E in it. And it also, no, I can't tell you because I'll give it away. I'll give it away. I'll give it away. It has, their name has an E in it. And do you want to know if uh, they... Uh, are uh, 
is a he or a she? <laughs> hmm, what would you like? Would you like to know that? Yes, you would. Would you, Krista? Hmm. Oh, I'd like to buy a vow. No, that's all you get. You get an E. Uh, so it's a she. So that's what I'm going to say. Please hold. So hopefully we'll get confirmation. Let me see if they've already responded. I'm just checking my phone now. There's me and Skywalker. Can you see Skywalker on my phone? It's my little baby girl. Oh. Okay, let's have a look, see, let's see if they responded. And if they have, then maybe I can tell you. Not yet. You didn't see the name, did you? I hope not. <laughs> From your mouth to God's ear. Oh, interesting. Well, you'll see. We'll see. Hmm, we'll see. <laughs> Hi, Metal Dog. Nice to see you again. Hello. Captain, question for tomorrow. What is the job description of a president of the Australian Guild of Screen? After all, Guy Gross was exactly that from... Twi oh, good job, Captain. Well, we'll ask him. Well, uh, that's a really good question. I'll let you, uh, can you ask that again tomorrow, Captain? That's a fantastic question. Um, so I've got some really... Um, when I started getting into Guy, um, researching him, I've, I've come up with some cool stuff. I think you're really going to dig it. But... Um, uh, yeah, make sure you have all your questions ready because it's going to be a very fun session and I'll do my best to get to everyone's. I know it gets busy. Now, good old um, <laughs> Rigel has got his, his head on a stick uh, that he's just carrying around, carrying around. Stark's going full crazy mode. So in this scene we have, uh, and also look at that outfit. Who plays that, that guy? He's amazing. Uh, is it uh, John Bakesh? John Adam. How can he bloody well see through that out that that mask? Not Paul, not Stark, but the but uh, the gentleman that plays Bakesh. It's crazy. That would be so trippy acting and not seeing anything. That would be so weird. Uh, let's see. Jeremy already is. What's his dirt? Jeremy, for Discord, make sure you bind your Discord and Twitch account together to get into the chat. Yes, that, and we'll be doing our Discord on Saturday. It'll be lots of fun because Dad and Justine will be on. And <laughs> Carol, hi Carol. Um, Dad and Justine will be on on Saturday and then we can have a big debrief for all the subscribers afterwards. Uh, so here we have a really beautiful scene with Joffy and Dargo. And it's a beautiful father-son scene. He doesn't want to go back down, obviously, to Scorpius's command, uh, to the depository, sorry. Because he's spent a million years, well, not a million, but it feels like that, in slavery. Uh, so, Cry uh, so, Crichton, so Dargo had to leave his son when he was accused of murdering his sister, I believe. And for his safety, he abandoned Jothy, which put Jothy in all sorts of craziness. So there's definitely, Jothy says, look, Dad, I don't blame you, but I kind of do. <laughs> I mean, so, and the reason why all Jothy's tentacles and everything are, are ripped off too, I believe, is because he, he d didn't like being a, um, a Luxon. Is that not right, for me as memory serves? my memory serves me correctly and there's a really beautiful moment here with with Jothy and Dargo but he's saying he doesn't want to go back down which is completely understandable to to the depository in case he's captured so they're going down the plan is to get Crichton but they don't have any money at this stage to give them but I think they've realized that if they go down they can get crazy amounts of cash from the depository itself and at the same time, hopefully rescue Crichton. Uh, now, there's a really awesome scene later on too in this episode with uh, Erin and Crace. And she has the balls, the mibongs, to go on to Talon and say, listen, Crace, if you help us, I'll let you take whatever you want and I won't stop you. 
What a scene. Okay, cool. Here is the gang um, just cruising around, prodding Crichton's head. <laughs> Jeez, Laura, the other side. Are they going to take out the entrance? No. <laughs> Going in. Oh, and down they go. Fantastic filming. So, this was scene was shot on uh, Homebush, where we actually. So, season one, we filmed at the Fox Studios. Oh, don't pause. We filmed at the Fox Studios, uh, and that was very close to town. Uh, from season two onwards, we shot out at Homebush uh, in more like um, huge sheds. And it was pre uh, uh, a little ways out of town. It took about an hour to drive there. Um, and I wasn't too bad, sorry. It was for the people that wore prosthetics with no traffic and everything, probably about 40 minutes. But then with traffic, it could be a bit, a little bit bananas. Um, so, uh, it was actually on, I think that's a river, home, Homebush, is it a river? And um, so this was actually outside of the, uh, the, uh, s the second place where we, we filmed. And so now uh, Crichton's down on the ground and he can't move. How terrifying. Gosh, this script is so unnerving. It's just Farscape at its best. Just heading over to the chat room. If you have any questions, I'm here for you guys. Fire away and I'll do my best to at attempt to answer them. Here's the cool scene with Erin and Crace where uh, she says, please help us. And he's sort of saying, look, if Crichton's already been there for four arms, he's mush anyway. I think the words he sa says something similar to how long has he been there? And she says about four arms. And he goes, well, you better take a bucket so you can collect all his remains and he won't ooze out. <laughs> Lani Tupu, our beautiful Lani Tupu. Also, now we've got the um, San Diego Comic Con coming up online. Um, I organized a beautiful San Diego Comic Con panel. And we have Rebecca Riggs, who plays Grazer. We also have Lani Tupu, uh, who plays Crace. Captain... Uh, uh, Captain Crace. We have uh, Bracca. We have Bracca, who is David Franklin, and then we also have uh, Ricky Manning, uh, our beautiful Farscape writer, and we also have Paul Goddard, who plays Stark, and Kirk Thatcher is moderating it, and that will be, I believe, on the twenty fifth at six pm uh, for San Diego Comic Con. So make sure you tune into that and give it lots of likes and lots of shares and lots of comments. So. The producers can see how much you love Farscape, yeah. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, so now they're talking about how frell this plan is. And um, Dargo says, no, it's, no, he goes, it's Farbot or something because it's not Farbot, it's completely frelled. <laughs> oh, it's so clever. Oh. Just call me Mishy. I've been noticing, noticing it more and more. Where are all my brown peeps at? I don't, uh, Skywalker's got brown eyes. Her hair's kind of blondy, but she's got brown eyes. I've got blue eyes. Uh, let's see. Could you post the Discord link for Eva? Um, so the Discord button is literally just un under here, isn't it, guys? Um, Tex, would you mind posting the Discord link because Texodo, sorry, because I don't know how to um, to do that from my end. I might shut the whole stream down if I do that, knowing me. <laughs> and then for the subscribers, we hang out in Frelier. It's a chat room called Frelier, and we hang out there. We go straight there after our Twitch session um, on Saturday. You guys all have to decide what you want to do on Friday as well. Uh, I can't believe we're already up to season three. And then the split, the ship splits in half. So we're going to want to figure out what we want to do there. I think it would be weird me commentating episodes I have, I'm not in. <laughs> I mean, good old Scorpius. He's just so evil, isn't he? Let's have a look. Oh, now, <gasps> this soon. So, oh. Uh, 
Is this the scene where they're interrogating Rolf? Is he down there yet? Or they're still just trying to get into the Scorpius's brain, at Crichton's brain? Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. As soon as my command carrier arrives. Ah, oh, yes. Bye! Oh, what's the matter? Got a little warm head? How about I change that rod for you? I got some spares. Atira, lock this chamber down. So Open it for no one but me. <laughs> not happy, he's not happy. I'll do it. Beautiful Nicholas Ho, Captain Bracker. No, sorry, Lieutenant Bra Bracker, Human. I believe. Human. And then I believe this is the point where he sort of says, you better watch out, Natira, because you're going to die. And then she cuts him. And then she licks his... She's like, something's going to bleed or something, I believe. And she licks her, the, her, with her tentacles. Ooh, that's so good. It's so good. What was I watching the other day? And there's... Oh, I know. I was watching Gal Galaxy Quest. Um... Is I'm trying to find good, fun stuff on television because I don't want to watch anything about fighting and gunshots and the news is just blah. So I was watching Galaxy Quest and there's a creature in that that has the similar, you know, the baddie who has the similar claw as Natira. I was like, oh, maybe they're related. Stuck to my chair. Stuck to my chair. Ah, it's such a good movie. Oh, my God, it's a good movie. <gasps> oh, she's so unnerving. And in the next scene, we realise she likes to collect eyes. Ugh, so thrilled. So I'm just heading up to the chat. Let me see. Hi, Raven Slayer. Nice to see you. Hope the new job's going well. Oh, okay, so Rolf is down, on the, down at the depository with Bakesh. So many names in this. Because this is like this episode is absolutely epic it's crazy the gunfire later on and <laughs> turk his head on a stick oh my goodness so Rolf is not the smartest of critters but we love him so much uh i love how jeremy plays that character he just really gets into it and you know like he really embraces the the bounty hunter you know, wild alpha dog energy. Hi, 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 James Crab. Where we're at, I'm at 2103, 2104, 2105, 2106, 2107, you get the gist. <laughs> uh, how could you not have seen Galaxy Quest Jojo? That is insane. You have to watch it. It's so good. Um, we're watching season two, episode 21, Liars, Guns and Money, part three. Uh, that's where we're at, James. Um, you can watch it on Amazon if you got Amazon or your DVDs or you can just listen to my silly cries of stories. Always highly entertaining. Uh, hey, beautiful as... Uh, let's see. You, you totally need to watch it. It's so good. And the kids... Oh, could the kids watch it? I think the kids would kind of dig it. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's very fun. It's hysterical. It was actually coming out, remember? So um, in uh, David Franklin was saying it was coming out right around the time when we started doing Comic Con. So we were all like, what is this? What, is, what are they talking about? And uh, it's got um, Tim the Tool Man in it, Tim Allen, right? And like a huge cast. It's so good. Scorny Weaver. Um, uh, Oh, it's just the cast is amazing and you, it's one of those movies that you can watch 10 times and then watch another 10 times alan rickman who else is in it uh cwdc shows like like what which one scorp honor <laughs> love the scene where dargo gets the very cool gun oh the, for the big fight off oh my god okay so in this scene they're horrible. I can't stand it because I love Rolf. He's so cool. And he's doing his best. He's doing, you know, for a pretty basic creature, he's doing his best not to not to give Moya and everyone up. Look, Crichton's listening. Oh, my God. But I would not want to be interrogated by Scorpius and Natira. They're, they're terrifying. And then you're going to see very soon that Scorpius hands the interrogation over to Natira. Here she comes. 
not a good idea for raw and she comes up and she's like hmm red eyes very rare very rare oh here comes the claws here comes the claws she's so cool let's pop over oh I very sensual oh very my god animal animal what are you doing Oh, she's oh, so do good. Not lie again. Who are you communicating to? And what is the oh, plan? It's so amazing. I don't know. Farscape rocks, man. It's so bloody well out there. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, man. Captain, by the way, concerning movies. <gasps> don't let it pause. Sometimes when I turn the volume down, it likes to pause. Oh, oh. Do, do, ba, do, do, do. I keep my mic real close, but as you can see, I thump it sometimes. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh no, Rolf. So Rolf is now down to one eye because Natira's a meanie. Uh, by the way, Captain says, concerning movies that you might want to check out, Charlie's Angels 2019, never thought Kristen Stewart could be funny. Ghostbusters 2016. Don't care what other people say. I love that movie. Uh, Ghostbusters 2016 version is good. Is that the one with the girls? Or is that... No. Which what, what version is that one? Is that what, the one, one with all... That's not that long ago already, is it? Oh, my God. Maybe it is. 2016 Ghostbusters... It is? I like Chris Hemsworth in it. I think he's hysterical. I mean, it was... I thought it was fine for what it was. I know, you guys, there's going to be people that are going to... Hate is going to hate. But we knew what was coming, right? So... But aren't they making a new Ghostbusters with original cast members? Yes, please. Chris Hemsworth is just, he's hysterical. I've never actually met him, which is funny because a lot of us Aussies have met and hung out with each other. Rose Byrne, I used to, you know, see quite a bit around. I've been at the same events as Kate Blanchett, but I've never had proper one-on-one -on -one time with her. Um, but it's funny because when you move to America, a lot of the actors all hang out with each other, but I... I uh, I've he's a beautiful pilot um, because they all go to screenings and all that fun stuff as well here comes Chiana she's running in the room and we've got her beautiful war cry that's coming up she's going to go nuts <gasps> cool scene uh, do, do. look at the computer the visual effects as well in beautiful Farscape it's so amazing okay so now Crichton's trying to sort of massage into her evil brain that she's going to be on Scorpius's list so he's um uh he's sort of trying to get into Natira to say you're next love the effects I think for 20 years ago they've just stood up beautifully also Claudia Car Carvin does such a good job in this uh prosthetic because those teeth are so insane as well. Like when you put a mouth guard in, it's hard to pronounce, even when I don't have a mouth guard in, pronounciate words. Oh, so good. Here comes Moya. Yeah! Go, Moya, go. Good job. There she goes. Whee! Good job, Moya. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> Is that Talon? Oh, no, that's the transport pod. They're coming in. Yeah. Such a cool episode. So it just goes through the galaxy after this. Look. Oh, man. Okay, so they're coming into the depository. Frell is going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dren's going down. It's a full-on shootout. What they're trying to do is they're trying to get to the generator because they want to go dark, but I think Rolf has already given them the heads up. Scorpius is walking down the hallway and he's like, Bracca, be my eyes. And then I love this scene where they go, do you think anyone's out there? And it cuts to this scene and it, it, the hallway is just piling up with guards. And then there's a really awesome moment where... Um, Oh, yeah, and Natira is also now saying, not only do I like red eyes, but I also like blue eyes. And now she wants to steal Crichton's eyes. It's all crazy. 
Um, so what they're trying to do is to get to the generator and uh, they are trying to fight in the dark. So once it finally does get dark, though, um, Erin's night vision doesn't work. So it's funny. And then it finally gets to work and she goes, oh, I think I've got it working. And she, they look around and things light up and everyone's just dead around them. It's insane. They're very good. They're warriors. So uh, here is a scene where we're relying on uh, this character. Oh, my gosh, what's his name? Uh, the one that has the fire. Help me, dudes. Uh, it starts with a T. What's his name? The guy that comes up with the fire from his belly. The frog guy. He's trying to take him down with his f flames. And it's uh, they're having a hard time because he he can't ignite. Uh, oh, they're going down left, right and centre. Pew, 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 pew. I've told you many times. There you go. Thank you, Moya Surfer dude. Tarak. So um, there were copious amounts of times where um, they told us that we couldn't actually, they t told us to um, shush up, uh, like not go pew, 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 pew with our mouths because when we were fi firing, your natural instinct, well, mine is because of all the, you know, any time I have gunplay, I go pow, 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 you know, pew, pew. And they're like, we can't edit around that it's quite clear that you were saying pew pew <laughs> so also there's a scene in what's the one uh the episode where jewel jewel and sokozo and i jewel sokozo and i were in the tunnels and i feel like it's in season four and there's a really big explosion and obviously you don't rehearse for the explosion you the explosion just happens when it happens and um they go three two one and you it goes pew, and you run and this explosion was so big and i thought at the time the tunnels because there's all the hi how do i pronounce that that's amazing x Evil live, ex evil looks. <laughs> Thank you for following. You're amazing. If you're new to the channel, press the follow button. Well, I love all your beautiful support and enthusiasm. And if you press the follow button too, uh, you get uh, notified when we go online. Okay, so here we go. Cut back to um, the. Track. And then he's trying to come up with the flame and then he does the ultimate thing where he actually shoots himself and he blows himself up. And then now Stark and Ginny, not Ginny, Zan, are trying to escape the explosion. It's going crazy. Generator's down. Lights are down. And now they go out. Pew, pew. Anyway, back to the tunnel. So when the explosion went off, I think you hear all three of us go, they the F word and um, they when I went to ADR it because we only got one go at it because obviously you can't blow it, things up again um, went ADR we're like they're like you're gonna have to come up with some noise that fits into this <laughs> so go back and watch that scene if it's still there I'm pretty sure it is when we're all escaping from the underground tunnels I think it's this episode where Scorpius, Brack has Scorpius chained up on the, uh, and he's crawling in, so dark. Uh, so yeah, we're going back to the episode. We got beautiful Erin and she's like, oh, now I've got my night vision working. And they turn around and everyone's just lying on the ground. It's really clever. They find uh, very comedic moments in very dark moments. There's obviously one of our amazing stunties on fire in the background there. Uh, when I was watching the Eat Me commentary today, it um, I, I got reminded that many, obviously many times, the stunt teams played characters in the um, in the show. Not only did they double us, obviously, but they also played people that we fought in different species and stuff like that. So my um, the gentleman that taught me kickboxing and a lot of the wire work, uh, Bob Bell, is one of the um, like the crazy. Um, not clones it says oh, I don't like to call them clones I call them duplicates or something like that but he's the one with the really dark eyes and I'm like oh there's Bob 
Okay, so things are heating up. Oh, so Natira's now gone into Crichton's head and she's checking out whether she's up next. Look at these two. Oh, it's just beautiful. Look at them. Masterpiece. Oh, things are getting real. You You're desperately painless. <sighs> oh, you're desperately painless. Time to get moving. If I take it out, will you get me on Moyer and away from Yeah, well, I love how people just jump ship. They just jump teams. Okay, all right, now I'm on your side. I wonder how you score alien... <laughs> Central scenes. Well, we can ask them that, Texodo. Texodo. Uh, hi. Oh, is Guy in here? Is he in here or is he sneaking in? Oh, hello, hello. Hi there. Yes, he might be hanging out in the chat room. With oh, hello. Nice to see you. We're all very... Guys, um, just giving you a heads up. Beautiful Guy Gross is in the chat room right now. He's just said hello. Nice to see you. Did you get the Zoom link that I sent you? I emailed it a couple of hours ago. Yay. Uh, so we've been, we've been, uh, the chat room has been coming up with some very amazing questions for you tomorrow, guys. So you better be ready. It's going to be very, very, very heavy stuff. Just kidding. <laughs> so, guy, we're just watching, uh, uh, we're doing a bit of a Farscape watch party commentary of, uh, season two, episode twenty-one, "Liars, Guns, and Money," part three, and I was watching your, uh, I was watching your commentary of "Eat Me Today," and was uh, found out a lot of cool information about you and your thoughts on Farscape. Very, very cool. I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow, aren't we, guys? Everyone, give Guy a huge frell yeah, frell yeah. We love Guy. We love Guy. We love Guy. Where's all our frail years? Frail year. There you go. Hi, Loda. Nice to see you. More frail years. Give us some more. Frail year. Frail year. Frail year. I want 44 frail years. <laughs> oh. So here we have Crichton doing amazing work. Be the beautiful Ben Browder. He's going nuts because Scorpius is in his head and he's just going a little crazy town. Uh, I like in this scene with all the mayhem going on that Ben plays it so still. Uh, one of the cool things that Guy, I'm going to steal his notes from the commentary, uh, said about Farscape is that it is completely wild and completely weird and David Kemper had a twisted mind and, uh, and it was a delight for all of us to work on because the stakes were above and beyond. You know, it was such a such an amazing challenge of a show. So Rolf's having a hard time. He's just been shot. He's down on the ground. Dargo's trying to help him. Dargo's got a kick-ass gun. Uh, everything's going nuts down at the depository. Is this is such a cool warm-up to the grand finale? Like it's huge. Also, the lighting, the uh, explosions, the visual effects, the special effects are out of control. Just phenomenal. So we've got Virginia. I keep, I keep calling them by their prop. Oh, thanks, guy. Thank you. Uh, the, so we've got uh, Chiana's up on the ship and she's uh, having a hard time with the nasty, nasty pirate. He's put out the, the net so everyone's been frozen and they're trying to – he's totally ruining the entire plan as quite often happens on Farscape. And uh, they're – trying to release from the net so that they can go and save our beautiful crew of Moya. This is a really cool moment. Okay, we'll pop over for just a moment so we can see this. <gasps> quick, 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 quick. Ah, so, ah, ah, did I miss it? So one of them is shot. What a waste. <laughs> so clever. So amazing. So yeah, it's an all-out battle. Uh, 
Scorpius is getting really pissed now because he's he's about to lose Crichton again. I love, here we go, we keep cutting back to beautiful Ben and he's very still, very silent performance, you know. And then he goes, I'm just going to go to Scorpius, I believe, is what he says. And then Aaron knocks him out and, and says to Dargo, pick him up. Uh, so we've got here beautiful Zan and Stark. They're trying to get out of this crazy situation. When I was watching t today, I almost had a panic attack. It was very intense. There's so much going on in this episode. Wow, there was just a crazy stunt. One of the guys just went flying through the air. <laughs> we've got beautiful Jothy, who's on the transport pod, I believe, with Rigel. Uh, we've got Captain Craze, who's on Talon. Uh, there's so much going on. It couldn't get any more action-packed. And again, a beautiful Erin Sun brings out her warrior and just starts like nailing it going okay this is the this is the plan this is where we're meeting this is what's going on this is what's going to go down we need to get into one of the uh one of the compartments in in the depository and then talon can attack the ship and hopefully we're not sure but hopefully it will protect them so oh crichton's got blood pouring out of him everything's very crazy i'm just heading over to the chat room if you guys have any questions fire them away Oh, there you go. Erin just knocked out Crichton. Because it's true love. <laughs> oh. Let's have a look. Raven Slayer. I still believe that Kreis uh, somehow survived when he told Talon to starburst anyone else. Of course, in Farscape, as we know very well, people can come back from the dead all the time. We didn't even see his body. We never saw Dargo's body. So I'm a stern believer that Dargo lives. There is no doubt there, as does Kreis. They're too good to lose. Um, look, Chiana got burnt alive, right? Remember that episode? Was it the necklace? Um, picture, if you will. And I was looking through the script and I was reading and it goes, oh yeah, and Chiana burns alive. And I was like, huh? What? <laughs> And then I'm like flipping, flipping, flipping through. And then she had lines at the end. I'm like, oh my God, thank goodness. So uh, you can do anything in sci-fi. Well, even nowadays, you can pretty much do anything in normal TV. They go, oh, and it was all just a dream. Um, as, as says, it was beautiful when Crace gave the Starburst command a perfect close to his arc. Um, I've been on a panel with Lani. Uh, I've been on many panels with Lani, but... Um, he always describes that moment so beautifully because it's it, it was a lifetime for us like you've got to think it's very rare that uh, actors and crew get to work on a show together for that amount of time well for me personally I believe it was my longest running show it was about five years with the Peacekeeper Wars if you include that I believe it was like a, 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 just around five years um, Brian says in uh, panels and you have conquered universe, universes together. You have travelled through the uncharted territories. You've uh, you've made yourself believe that you've you know gone to the ends of the ends of the galaxy with these these amazing creatures and back again. So you have lived these amazing lives. So when your character um, does have such a, a, a momentous moment. I mean, honestly, any moment on that set was momentous. But, you know, if you're talking about the end of such a, a, a huge, intense arc for Crace, he just did such a beautiful job. So now Aaron is coming to say thank you and to let Crace know he can have what he wants kind of thing. And he said, oh, it wasn't me, it was Talon. So beautifully shot, beautifully acted, beautifully directed this scene, you know, Aaron facing the camera and not facing Crace. It's so, so well done. Hi, Howard, nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Jojo says, uh, I hope so. I'd like to, let, let, did it, I'd like to admire Crace. I tried uh, to name my son Crace, but my husband wouldn't go for the bad guy. <laughs> Okay, so now we have a scene with Crichton and he's losing his beautiful mind. And he's saying to Dargo, just let me go. He, I'm right at the end of the, this, he says, he says, kill me, because he's just going insane. 
and it's just so wet. so we finally captured him we finally got him back and it should be a happy moment but we've lost two people we lost Rolf and we lost uh, Turek and we kind of almost lost Crichton uh, so there you go the beautiful Farscape so uh, if you've just come on in uh, we have tomorrow a very special guest who uh, is the phenomenal guy Gross who is the composer for Farscape uh, and it's going to be a very very uh, special hangout tomorrow at 5 p.m. he's going to be chiming in from uh, beautiful down under I believe he's uh, in Sydney so it's gonna be lots and lots of fun uh, and then Saturday we have uh, my father Michael Edgeley and his beautiful wife Justine Summers chiming in uh, one of the uh, most uh, amazing men in Australian history I believe he's a, he's a fantastic uh, entrepreneur and has many intriguing stories about everyone from Andy Warhol to Baryshnikov and Nureyev and the Bolsha Ballet and Kiss and John Denver and uh, I believe he's even met uh, uh, the Prince, Prince Charles and he met Diana with mum as well and then uh, Justine is his beautiful wife and they are going to and she was the head, head ballerina of the Australian Ballet so that will be on Saturday um friday you guys have to decide what you would like hi jesper good morning good morning and for now i'm going to wrap it all up oh i'll just i'll put the link to the uh the zoom one last time here's the little hangout and zoom that we all do friday evening at 6 15 p.m so come and hang out do 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 with us Friday 6.15 it's always lots of fun and now I'm going to sing you a little song so do 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 just for a bit of fun don't judge me guy if you're still in the room do 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 all right it's just a bit of fun that I have to do with my now I'm more nervous if guy is still here I'm not even going to look <laughs> so it's just some fun okay um all right let's give a little info if, you, if you're here don't tell me you're here because I'll get embarrassed <laughs> all right don't worry the guys make fun of me all the time don't you chat little viewers okay no I get so nervous I can't press the button do, do, do. all right this is a little toy that I bought uh, sorry that I got given uh, it's a voice live touch 2 and I'm still learning how to use it um, maybe if I read the manual it would probably help but hey what is the fun in that so let's see here <laughs> okay mm, blushing okay can you guys hear
Fly me to 
you go guys a little bit of fun a little bit of fun oh hi edgy my beautiful brother's in the room nice to see you edge nice to see you edge is working on getting some amazing guests for us as well he's got uh calls out and lots of very cool artists and entrepreneurs and sporting icons as well love you so much guys here is the link to the zoom chat for friday uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreci appreciate your beautiful energy, uh, everyone following and subscribing. This is my main, my only job at the moment and I'm just having an absolute ball and um, learning of different ways how to keep in touch with you guys and, and stay connected and, and move forward in life and sending lots of good energy out to everyone. and. Remember to tune in tomorrow for the beautiful guy, Gross. It's going to be an amazing uh, chat. And I'll leave you with a cool little tune, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if this is a music video that I uh, did. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, you can check it out on the website and yeah this is called closer i'll see you guys tomorrow with beautiful guy bye loose lips and electric kisses dark smiles long awaited wishes Come a little closer, boy. Melt into me. I've roamed the world, seen a thousand glimpses. With slow touch, I could be your missus. Come a little closer, boy. And fall into me.